Hi, I'm Mira from Alaya Pilates and Flow with Mira. This is the third and final video of a series of classes that were originally created for Basi Pilates YouTube channel. This is the advanced flow mat where we'll be covering some advanced exercises from Basi Pilates. I have structured this class in a Basi flow style where one exercise flow to another creating a fluid smooth class and following the Basi block system. The Basi flow mat is a signature of Basi Pilates created by Ryle Isakowit. No equipment is needed, just a mat and commit to yourself. This is the perfect class if you have been practicing Pilates for quite some time at advanced level. It's going to be a lot of fun, so grab your mat and let's get started. Let's begin the class. We're going to start sitting position. So I'd like you to face the front of your mat. Have your feet in parallel position, hip width apart. I'd like you to have your knees pointing up towards the ceiling and allow the feet to spread out onto the mat. Bring your hands underneath the thigh for a moment here. I'd like you to take a moment as well to just arrive on the mat. Close your eyes. Let's just breathe. We inhale. And exhale. Bring attention onto your breath. Bring your attention onto your center. Bring your attention onto your mind. Let's do one more breath. And let's open your eyes. Allow the body to be upright, feeling the back extensors energize, lifting the spinal column away from the pelvis. Now I'd like you to take your arms in front of you. I want you to feel the inner thighs kind of drawing towards each other, even though they're apart. Lifting up the center, lifting up the spine. Allow the shoulder, allow your arms to settle in that shoulder socket. We in breath. As we exhale, the abdominal drawing towards the spine and I like you to flex the spine forward. And then we're going to roll back. Allow the sacrum to melt, the lower back to melt. We stand a chest lift position in breath. Exhale, drawing the abdominal in. Let's come forward towards the spinal flexion. Now here, i like you to open the knee to the side and allow the spine to elongate in a diagonal position. Again, feeling that back extensors energizing, lifting the spine away from the pelvis. We bring our body, our spinal upright, taking your arms to the side, arms forward, bring the knee up. We exhale, we flex the spine. We roll back, sacrum melting, lower back melting, the chest is open, we in-breath, exhale, we come up, rounding the back, lifting the spine as you inhale, reaching out the body, diagonally, bringing the back upright, arm to the side, and arms forward, knee in, and we round, we roll back. In breath, we exhale to come up. Inhale, we lengthen the spine. Open the knees, allow the hip flexor to just be a little bit easy in extension here. We bring the body up, arms to the side, arms in legs. And one more time, we flex the spine. We deepen the abdominal, we roll the back down. In breath, exhale. We come forward, 
We inhale, lengthen diagonally. And upright. And forward. And now we flex again. We roll back here. I like you to just stay on that chest lift position. Now let's bring your feet closer towards your bottom. Ready for the pelvic curl. Arms down, head down, chest down. Taking a moment for your body to arrive. In breath. Exhale, allow the abdominal wall to just deflate towards the spine. Your arms are active, reaching towards the feet. Your shoulder and chest nice and open. Your lower back is floating. Your mid back and your upper back resting heavily on the floor. Your neck is floating. Your head is resting on the floor. We in breath. As we exhale, moving to our pelvic curl, we draw the abdominal wall in to imprint the lower back, curling the pelvis up towards posterior tilt, and then we roll up to that bridge position. My hamstrings are working. Lifting that chest open. Inhale at the top. We exhale, we roll down. I'd like you to think about lengthening the spine down articulating that spinal column down to the floor, coming back to that neutral pelvis position. In breath, exhale, abdominal drawing to the lower spine, imprinting the lower back, going to posterior tilt, and then peeling the spine up using the hamstrings and the abdominal. And just at the final end, you're gonna lift that pelvis with that glute muscles. In breath, exhale. Abdominal, drawing the spinal column down, lengthening it down, vertebrae by vertebrae, back to the neutral. In breath, exhale, we roll, we roll, we roll. Can we go a little higher now? Can we press that shoulders down? Can we press your arms down and press the feet down to lift that pelvis? Another inch higher, perhaps, in breath. Exhale, we roll down. And don't forget that inner thighs activated. And back to the neutral, in breath. Exhale, we'll take it up. Up, up, up. And let's just hold this position. I'd like you to press the heels down and then bring your feet towards dorsiflexion. And as you do that, I'd like you to lift that pelvis a little higher so you feel your glute firing, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up, and hold the height. Press the feet back down. And then I want you to press the ball of the feet down. I want to lift that heels up towards Plantar flexion. Now again, I'd like you to lift that pelvis up a little higher. Don't forget the inner thighs. Just a reminder for myself. And then to lower the heels and keep the height, that new height of the pelvis as you lower the heels. And then hold the pelvis. Let's float the arms up. Keep the pelvis high. Arms to the ceiling and then bring them over your head, pressing the back of your arms down. We hold. Then we breathe out, we roll the spine down, rib cage, mid back, lower back, sacrum, and then the pelvis back to the neutral position at the end. Bring the legs together. I like you to slide your hands underneath the back of your head. Like I saw you about to do a chest lift, but we're not, not just yet. Now I like you to press the elbows down and the shoulders down and try not to hyperextend the ribs. Drawing the upper abdominal in to anchor the lower rib cage down. Let's float the right leg up to tabletop. Second leg up, moving on to our spine, spine twist, or more like spine twist, supine. Over to your right as we inhale. Just a little variation with the arm here. Exhale, we come back to center. Over to the left, I'm thinking to get my sh right shoulder down to the floor. I'm not gonna lift it up. Exhale, if I lift the shoulders up, then I've gone too far. Inhale. 
exhale. And to the left, in breath. Exhale. I'm letting my legs to go together as one unit. Exhale, my abdominal drawing my body back to the middle. In breath. Exhale. Now let's add the um, single leg extension. So we're gonna rotate, extend the top leg, pulling back to the center, and then we fall over to the left. We twist. Top leg or top knee extended, bringing back to the middle. And then we fall, we in breath, extend, exhale, fall, in breath, extend. Last set, to the right, left shoulder stays down, stretch the left leg, back to the middle. And the last one, over to the left, right leg extended, Bring it back and then we fold. Lower one foot down, second one down. You can half then hip width apart if you like, interlacing the hands at the back of your head. Moving on to our chest lift. So a little chest lift variation here. We exhale, drawing the abdominal in, lengthening the spine and we flex forward. As we inhale, take your arms by the side off your thighs, and then we exhale. Can we come up a little higher? Hold that new height, arms to your ears, like double stretch position, and hands behind, and return. Exhale, inhale, arms forward. Exhale, can we come up a little higher? Inhale, double leg stretch, arm position, interlace, and then return. On three, and reach, lift up, lengthen the arms overhead, hands back, and return. Let's do two more, and reach, come up a little higher, and take your arms next to your ears, hands back, coming down, and we lift, we come up a little higher. We take your arms back to your ears. And let's hold that, don't go down. Can we float one leg up to tabletop? Second leg up to tabletop. And now we tap, inhale. Exhale, double legs lowering here. Exhale, you can call it double toe taps too. Exhale, we try to keep the abdominal printing the lower back on the floor. And, and three. Stay in a chuck lift position. One more. Hold. Lower one foot down. Second one down. We're not done yet. Hold that chest up. Can we take your hands at the back of your thighs? Can we come up a little higher? Higher. And try to keep that pelvis in a neutralist position here. Now, hands back behind your head. Onto a chest lifted rotation, over to the right, middle, left, middle, right, middle. I'm thinking, flexing forward and rotating, and I'm thinking, trying to rotate from my waistline, getting my shoulder blades off the floor, and left. Two more set, and right, center, and left, center, last set, center, last one, we hold, stretch the legs down, one, two, and lower the head down, taking our arms overhead, palms facing each other, and let's just lengthen the ribs down. Ready for the infamous Basin roll up? We're going to take the arms up, follow by the chest, lift arms by the side. We exhale, we lift up, coming into that C curve. Inhale, exhale, we roll back, bringing your pelvis onto the floor, 
sacrum, lower spine, then arms overhead. And again, we inhale, chest lift. Exhale, we lift. C curve. In breath. Exhale, we roll back. Can we melt that sacrum onto the floor? Can we get the lower spine onto the floor? And then taking your arms with you. Inhale. Exhale. Now, as I come over my hips, I'm thinking flexion, but I'm also thinking length out of my spine. So I'm not crushing my spine down towards that secret, but I'm actually drawing my abdominal. At the same time, I'm activating my back extensors here. Inhale. Exhale. Can we keep that legs together? Can we stabilize the pelvis? I mean, making your pelvis even. Again, just a reminder for myself. And an inhale, making sure my left and my right are even. Exhale, try to make sure yours too, over. And an in breath, exhale, we roll down, even pelvis, melt the sacrum, melt the lower back, and then take the arms overhead. Let's do one more time. Inhale, lifting, exhale. Into that C curve. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're just going to go down here onto our chest lift position. Turn the palms down. One leg to tabletop. And second leg to tabletop. Breathe out. Stretch your legs for the hundreds position. We in breath. And we exhale. And in. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. And as you pump, can we think about drawing the abdominal towards the spine? And as you inhale, think about the legs reaching out and the spine reaching over to the other side. And. And out. Three more sets. On to the last set. Hold, drawing the belly a little deeper, deeper, deeper. Drag the knees in and then release the head down. Well done, lower one foot down and then second one down. I like you to stretch your left leg down onto the floor and then I like you to take your right leg up to the ceiling. Take your arms. Facing the ceiling as well, I like you to ground the two ends of the shoulders down to the floor and really anchor the lower ribs onto the floor. Dorsiflex the right foot, moving to our single leg circle here with a little variation with the arms off. A little bit more challenging, but I think we can do this. We're going to go inhale, across and then down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. If you feel a little bit wobbly, and you can make the circle smaller. Exhale. Hold. The other side. Out. Inhale. Exhale. Other direction I meant. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last set. In breath. Exhale. Hold. Planta. Flex the foot, lift the head and the chest up, grab the calf, somewhere in your legs. I like you to pull that leg, lift the chest up too, pull that leg towards your head. Kind of a little hamstring stretch for your hamstring pull one, to prepare you for hamstring pull one. And then bring the leg up, head down, arms down, bend the knee. Lower the right foot, bring the left foot in, stretch the right leg out, adjust the pelvis, re-establish the pelvis position. Mine's a little bit wonky at times. Let's take the left leg up to the table position, straighten up towards the ceiling, arms come off to dorsiflex, anchor the two ends of the shoulders down. Let's go, inhale, 
across. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, stay parallel, in breath. Exhale, last set, in breath. Exhale, hold. The other direction, inhale. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, two more sets, in. Last set, in. Hold, we point. Grab the leg, the calf, the hamstring, the thigh muscle if you can. Pull the leg towards you, lift the head and the chest up. Stretching the back of the left leg, the hamstring. Try to keep that pelvis grounded to the floor. And now we're going to continue with hamstring pull one, hamstring pull two, and hamstring pull three. Moving on to abdominal block. We're going to draw the abdominal in, and here we go. We switch. One more set. And two. One more set. And twist. Hamstring pull, three. Last set. Both legs up to the ceiling, please hold it. Hold it, can we lift the chest a little higher? And then lower the chest down, bending the knees, double legs lowering, pulling the center in, stretching the leg out, one and two. Stretch your arms overhead. And you know what? Let's just stretch your abdominal for a second. Arch your back. Bring that ribs up, breaking all the rules here. And then bring everything in place. Ready for the roll-ups again. We inhale, lift, whoop, square yourself. And then exhale, coming up, coming up into the roll-up and stay in that C-curve. Now we're going to do rolling like a ball and roll over. Open leg broker and jackknife. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. And I like to drag the feet in. Drag it in. Getting into your rolling like a ball position. Balancing on your tailbone. I like your arms to really work here and your abdominal wall too to keep that spine in the elongated flexion position. Your feet are floating. Let's roll back. We inhale and exhale. We in breath. Exhale. In breath. Get the shoulder blades, no, sorry, the shoulders off the floor and you're not resting your head on the floor as you roll back. Three more. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Keep the shape. Exhale. One more, in breath, exhale. We hold, balance, balance, balance. I'd like you to take your legs up to a tabletop position, hands underneath the knee. Take a moment to just stretch the back. And then we're going to roll down. We're gonna scoop the belly in carefully and slowly rolling the sacrum, the lower back, and then the whole spine down on the floor, arms long by the side, ready for your rollover. Stretch your legs to 60, up to 90 degree. Press the arms, curl the pelvis, roll over. Dorsiflex the feet, separate. Lower the feet down, and then keeping the arms active, let's roll the spine. Bottom down, plant up, and then together. Legs up to 90, roll over. Dorsiflex, separate. Lower the feet down, and then we roll the spine down. 
bottoms down, point your feet, circle the legs together, and again, to 90, and roll over, and flex the feet, separate, lower, and we keep the arms active as you try to articulate the spine down to the floor, and then plant a flex together, one last one, up to 90, and press the arms over, dorsiflex the feet apart, lower, and then we roll the spine down, and then point the feet circle, and let's hold the legs to 60 degrees here, guys, let's see, if you can, lift the head and the chest up, shall we, tease ourselves up, roll it up, 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 lift the legs to you, grab the ankles, and separate them, lift the back for the open leg rocker. Okay, take a moment, arrived back onto the position, and then we go, we inhale, we round, and then forward, lifting up, and then inhale, roll, exhale, lift, inhale, roll, exhale, lift, inhale, and up, and back, three more, and up, and back, and up, last one, back, and up, can we hold that position for a second, can we draw the legs together, using an adductor, sorry, and separate them, and then together, and apart, just a little variation here, together, and apart, together, and apart, together, and hold that legs together, guess what, hands off, arms up, teaser one position, we're just going to transition ourselves there, so we roll down, curling, 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 arms down, ready for the jackknife, we take the legs to 90, then we roll over, <laughs> And hip flexion, tap the floor. I'm thinking hip extension. I'm thinking reaching my legs up towards the ceiling. My triceps are working hot. And then we roll down. Back to 60. And again, 90. Roll over. Tap. And press up. And we roll down. And 60, two more times, 90, roll over, we tap, press up, 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 and roll down. Last one here, and take it up, and roll over, we tap, and press up. My hip extensors are working hard here. And then we, my tricep as well, and I'm going to take myself down, down, down to 60, bend the knees in, tabletop, one foot down, second leg down. Adjust the feet for your pelvic curl position, and then we're going to do our shoulder bridge. We prepare, inhale, exhale, let's do two pelvic curl, we roll up, up. Up. Can we go a little higher this time? Really press your feet down, press the shoulder down, press your arms, lift the pelvis a notch higher. And we roll down. And the doctors are still working too. Back. And again, we roll up. And take it up, take it up. Take it up a little higher. Let's hold that. Let's go straight to our shoulder bridge here. Press your left foot down. Can we take your right leg up to the ceiling? Stretch it out. And then we go down. And then we kick. And then out. And then three. And then four. Five. Six. Two more. Last one. Hold. Planter. Bend the knee. Lower the foot down, reestablish that pelvis position. Let's press the right foot down, left 
leg straight up to the ceiling. And we go, inhale, kick. So we've got plantar flex, dorsiflex, four, five, six, two more, seven, eight, whole plantar flex the ankle, bend the knee, lower the foot down, lift the pelvis a little higher, and then we roll the spine down. Stretch the legs out again. Take your arms overhead. Ready for the roll-ups. We inhale. Exhale. We come up, we come up, we come up. And then I just want you to lift the spine in an upright alignment. I'm just gonna adjust my pelvis and then take my arms, our arms up to the ceiling. Can we stretch out for a moment? Just stretch your body up. And then take your arms down behind you. Let's go for our back support. And then we'll go leg pull back, moving to our front support position and the leg pull front. You may have your feet slightly apart. All right, hands behind. Activate or energize your back extensors here. And let's go for four back support. We lift. Neck wall. And we hinge. And we lift. And we hinge. And we lift. And down. And last one, we stay up. Let's have the right leg first. We go, kick, two, four, five, three, four, five, hold, switch, two, three, four, five, hold. Can we lift the pelvis a little higher? And then let's hinge down. All well done, cross the legs. Hands forward, quadruped position. And get the shoulders ready, stretching one leg out. I got my right leg out. I'm thinking hamstring, glute, drawing to each other, drawing my abs in. And I'm gonna push the floor away with the hands and the right foot. And then we'll take the left leg joining the right. And then moving on to a leg pull front, pointing the right foot. We lift for five. Four, three, two, one, switch, two, three, four, five, down, one knee in, second one knee, and then come up, and let's face me. Okay, we're going to do a side kneeling, side kick kneeling, and then transitioning ourselves towards the side bend. Okay, here we are. So, taking your arms out to the side. I'm gonna go to my right first. We're gonna tip over to the right, placing my right hand down, stretching my left leg long. Left hand behind my head. I'm gonna take my left leg up, reach as high as you can, dorsiflex. Let's go forward. Let's do eight, three, four, five, six, two more, last, back to the side, place that foot down, turn my left foot down on the floor. Now I want you to take the left arm up to the ceiling here, lifting the underneath waist, and then I'm gonna take my bottom leg Stack it behind, put it in a little side plank position, and we go down for the side bend. We lift, and side bend, look down to the bottom, and we go down, three more. We lift, and up, and down, two more. And 
last one stretch it out side bend and back and coming up again hold bottom knee in come up and let's do some lateral stretch i'm going to take my right arm to the ceiling and side bend ourselves over towards the left and coming up leg in at the side to the left hand down stretch the right leg top hand behind leg up dorsiflex and we go three four five six seven last one side down press it top arm up and let's join the bottom leg behind the top and we go down and we lift and side bend high hips and center three more we lift and and center we go down two more lift and back and down one more lift over and let's come up again we lift we hold bottom knee in come up and then side lateral stretch over to the right well done and bring your body up leg in and come on down let's go to a hip circle prep all right so we're gonna bring the hands behind you fingertips backward think about i'm thinking posterior pelvic tilt just a slight one i'm trying to activate my back extensors and then i'm gonna peel my leg up and stretch it up here we go let's go three sets to your right and then down center to the left down center right down center down last set down last one down and up hold can we take my hands up lift it up up let's do teaser two guys let's go down and take it up four more three two one hold knee down knee out and just stretch forward for a second well done in breath exhale one more inhale and roll up roll up roll up okay cross the leg moving on on to our front please we're going to do swimming and single leg kick and onto a swan dive prep and then let's squeeze in some rocking prep shall we okay so onto our front here let's take your arms forward i'm drawing my lower abs in and then i'm floating my legs with my hip extensors and then my arms with my shoulder flexors and then we go we inhale and exhale inhale try to keep your head in between your arms guys exhale just do three more sets two and last we hold lower them down dragging your hands or your arms in for a single leg 
sorry, single leg kick. Yeah, correct, single leg kick. All right, I'm getting my brain blank here for a sec. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna draw my forearm towards my rib cage and lift my lower abs up off the ground. My neck is long. And let's take your legs floating off the floor. And we go right leg. And inhale. And Don't sink to the floor. Push the floor away. Two more sets. Last set. Now we stretch the legs. Can we press the forearm a little bit more? Hold the legs floating. Can we lift the chest a little higher? And now lower the feet down. Now I'd like you to change your arm, stacking one palm on top of the others here. Now I'd like you to again engage your hamstring and get your hip extensors, pick up the belly, and then can we push the flow away, lift up to higher extension. And then we'll lower back two more. And press down to lift, inhale. Exhale. I like to think that my pelvis is also coming towards extension here. So I'm drawing my lower abs. I'm really working on my hip extensors as well as my back extensors. And then I release. Okay, lower the body down. Bring the elbows, the forearm to the side. We're going to do your swan dive prep. So again, shoulders open. We inhale, do a little baby swan. Exhale, pick up the belly, push the floor away. And as you go down, your legs are going to float. You can keep your legs together or hip width apart. And then we inhale, we lift up. And we exhale, we float the legs. Two more, inhale, we lift up. Exhale, we float the legs. One more, inhale, we up. Exhale, we float, float, and release. My legs are all shaky. <laughs> My hip extensors are working hard. Now let's grab the ankles. One ankle. And second one. All right, moving on to our rocking prep. All right, make sure you really get the ankle bone. Okay, the solid bone there. And here we are. I'm thinking hip extensors, back extensors, then knee extensors. And we go down. Let's go again. And hip extensors, back extensors, knee extensors, then release. Can we do two more? We inhale. We lift, knee extensors to finish, and, and down. Last one, inhale, hip extensors, back extensors, then knee, and we come down. Well done. Release the leg, forearm onto the side, pulling the belly in, and we push yourself. Sit back, rest position. For a moment, catch your breath. Inhale. Two more breaths. Last one. And we roll up, roll up. 
and we're not done yet. Let's finish the class with some beautiful boomerang, guys. Yep, we're gonna do boomerangs. So let's cross the right leg above the left. Okay, here we go. Rounding yourself over. Beautiful boomerang, okay? And we roll back. Lower back resting. Float that leg into a boomerang shape. Hands down, head down, roll over, switch. We roll down. And we come up to a teaser position. Arms behind you. Stretch your hands. Lower the legs, body over, arms. And we roll back. Float in the legs, boomerang. Hands down, head down, legs over. And switch, rolling back. I'm gonna have to move myself to the middle of the mat. Stretch your arms up, legs down, body over. I'm just gonna scoop a little bit forward here, guys. Let's do. And we roll back, floating the legs, arms by the side, arms down, head down, legs over. Switch the legs, roll down. Coming up to a teaser, high, lift, arms, arms back, legs down, body over. Let's do one more set, we roll back, float, hands down, and roll over, switch, roll back, and then lift, and arms back, down, okay, let's go, roll down. And press the arms, roll over, switch, and then we roll down, and then teaser, arms, and then back, lower the legs, arms over. You know, guys, let's do one more because we're not back to the original legs. We'll go back, press the arms, legs over, switch, roll down, and coming up. To a teaser, hold, let's do this. We cross 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Arms back, well done, legs down. A bit of surprise there, over and coming up. Good job. Now let's just bring your legs onto a little diamond position here. Okay. I want you to bring your hands underneath the thighs. Let's catch our breath. Let's catch my breath. All right, approaching yourself on a sitting bone. You may close your eyes for a moment here. Healing that beautiful energy in your body. Appreciating your effort and that beautiful work today. Deep inhalation. And we exhale. Calming your mind. Inhale. One more. Inhale. Open your eyes, arms up to the side, lifting up, feeling that spine just growing off from the ground, feeling the arms reaching out and inside, taking up to the ceiling, and exhale, we roll down, forward, in breath. Exhale, can we lift the abdominal too? Roll the spine back to the upright alignment. One more. Exhale. We roll down. In breath. Exhale. We come up. 
and to the side. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a really fantastic, great class. Don't forget to leave any comment and subscribe to the amazing Bassi Pilates YouTube channel and browse. We have excellent, talented Bassi Pilates teacher from around the world that you can take a class with. I wish you a great day and thank you.